Okay, here's a full tutorial on how to align your sanitary uh, pipe sloping. Okay, this one with the slope and then you align to the main pipe. Okay. My mouse is not working properly. I mean my keyboard. Okay. So, also another process we can use this script is this one so in the ducting um, usually if you have branch pipe like this you have to select the main pipe copy the middle elevation and then you paste it here so that you can just type tm three multiple okay or you can modify this one. You can select this one. Uh, automatic connection. It will create a shoe fitting. Okay. Because if you just, you can really align this. Actually, you, ah, yes, you can align it, this one. But you cannot use the trim. It will not automatically and uh, not, not also in the center but this one you can also drag and then snap I see it's hard but if you have the script it's way faster also to to align this one so you just have to select the branch pipe for example this one the main pipe and then run then it will be aligned ready and then again you just type here this is trim multiple extend okay and it's ready align okay so that's for the ducts let's go for the pipes sloping and alignment so this is uh, more difficult than the ducting okay so my current script this one is only run it, it it will only run if the branch pipe is uh higher than the main pipe if lower it's a different script okay so i will just run example and then we will go to the script one by one and how did I created the automatic alignment of the branch pipe with sloping? So again, so we select the main pipe, example this one. Then we select the branch pipe, and then run. So it will automatically align. You know that it's already aligned if you type. Select this command, trim, extend, and then select this one. Automatically, it will create a fittings. <clears throat> so, let's go to the script. Okay. One by one. So, again, we select this branch pipe here. Or this one. then we'll turn off this uh, we'll freeze this one so that it will not uh, move to that so this is it okay warframe I think it's better hidden line um, okay, let's, let's go shaded. So let's go one by one into the script, the, all the nodes. So this is the branch pipe, this one, right? Get the element curve location. You just type there, element location curve, 
and then the main pipe also. So if I select this one and we go here at the background 3D preview and then zoom. So this is it. So I will rotate this one so that it will be similar to this um, Revit view. So is this correct? Okay, like this. This is now the similar orientation. Okay, so go back here. So usually it will highlight if I select the curve. You see, this is the branch pipe. And this is the main pipe. This is the blue one. Okay. So next, we go first with the main pipe. Ah, sorry, with the branch pipe. Okay, so... This one should go down. This is the branch. Now you're going to create a select the node curve endpoint and start point. So if I select this endpoint here, you see the blue one? It will highlight. Start point, it will also highlight this one here. Okay. Next. So I just, cop I just copied this one. Okay. So in this one, this is the points offset. This one. This point here. So negative 3000. So I trans you select these uh, nodes here in Dynamo. This is the line. This one. Translate. So I offset the curve, this one, at negative 3000 using a vector Z axis in the Z, Z axis, okay? Next will be the line direction node. Okay, and then this one, uh, don't use this one. So after you extend this one to the negative 3000 below zero value then you select the curve endpoint then in here you create a line down curve branch pipe so this is the line you select this one this is the blue line okay this one we're going to select this one line because we're going to uh, create a plane Okay, to to uh, to cross to the main pipe to this pipe. So you're creating a plane to to cut to the main pipe, so that you will you will we will have an intersection. Okay. Then you create select this node here. Um, what is plane by line and point? So this is your line. And then your point will be, we select the point, this one, the um, branch uh, start point, you select that one. Then after that, you go here, at the plane intersect, so you have to, we will uh, intersect the plane and then the line of this main pipe. So if I go back here, uh, so this is the main pipe, geometry translate, okay, that's the point. So we created this line, if I select this one, usually, yeah, this one. I extend this one, longer, so it will um, intersect with this plane. Okay, this one now after that we will uh, I will just highlight this one um, preview preview run again so if I select this one where is it Not showing. Hmm. 
geometry intersect this one in the middle then lines line start point and ah, okay supposedly this one will be this one here this one and then this one okay it's just not highlighting then we'll create again a geometry intersect here <laughs> then you flatten clean and then going back here line start point and end point if you select this one this one so i think i will just maybe zoom this one here okay so if i select this one ah this one this is the line Oh, this is the um, offset this is the blue one here that we need so that it can be uh, perfectly aligned to the main pipe <coughs> then from here because it's we're going below we're going to multiply that value by negative one so that from zero it will be a negative value or below zero so this one then again you will translate the uh, line and then you use this distance direction will be z and then the geometry this this geometry here I select this one this one so we're going to offset this one this curve to this line here so if we select that and then select this one usually it will highlight the blue one this one okay then you, this is the start point so you create again the line so this is the start point and then the end point will be the intersection, this one. So if I select this one here, this one, the intersect. So you have now the line from the here, sorry, this one, and to the intersection of the main pipe and the plane that we created. Okay. So, when I select now this one, and freeze, and run, so it will now go to the, the, the pipe will go to the uh, element set location. It's now perfectly aligned. Okay. So, if I select now most of this piping here, I hope... You get this one. Example, this one. Um, select branch branch pipe select main and that's it so for the, this one you have to edit the for the lower branch pipe you have to edit the script so it will not run okay so you have to edit the script this is the edited script if you want to run the lower branch select this one and then run so it will now align okay you just have to edit it and then it will work now so that's it